What does case-based mean in workflow management? Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series on business process automation. I've been asked many times what does it mean that workflows are case-based. In a previous video, I showed a very simple example where someone booked a ticket for an airplane and then finally boarded the train and I explained the differences between the business process and the workflow. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. So we will take that very simple example here and explain what it means that workflows are case-based. Okay, here on the left we have Kenji who wants to go to Paris and um, he decides to book a ticket with JAL and goes on their website and then as soon as he opens the booking portal we can imagine that there is a workflow management system behind that no one can see at the surface of course and um, at the moment where Kenji opens the booking portal here there is a work item booked activated here in a workflow case. So the case is started and the booking work item is created. So when Kenji actually performs all this data entry and things like that, he performs an activity and after he has performed this activity and completed this work item, then we can imagine that the workflow behind goes to the next state and a work item check-in is created in the system and that will serve later when Kenji comes to the airport and drops his baggage and so on. Okay, and so the same thing goes for our other users. So um, we have Carl here who has just heard that he has to go to Las Vegas on a business trip and of course he's not very happy about that. And um, again, he goes to this um, portal of Lufthansa and books a ticket and um, completes the form and then uh, he is in this state and the system is ready. And finally Nora wants to go to visit the Kilimanjaro and um, she also books um, a ticket in a system, completes the form and okay. And so now we have in the workflow engine we can imagine we have three different Petrinets that are representative for the state of the workflows of each of these cases. So we have three cases here and let's assume that now uh, Nora has booked uh, some last minute ticket or something like that. She actually checks in now. So, so she is the first to check in and after the check-in has been finished, baggage drop off everything, the system goes to the next state and then she is checked in and then she is ready to board the plane. And um, she will do that very shortly afterwards and then um, maybe Carl comes to the um, to the check-in and checks in and so on and so forth. So you can imagine that we have three cases here. We have these tasks. The tasks are these things in the workflow specification. So book is a task and if we book in the case for Kenji um, this becomes a work item and as soon as we perform this, this is called an activity. So we have task, work item and activity. And the workflow management system is responsible for handling all that and as I said we can imagine that in the background the workflow management system has a little Petrinet for each of the cases and of course um, this can be handled very efficiently. Okay, that's all for today. I hope this was instructive for you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. See you soon.